Our desire should be for God to mature us through His Word, that He would mature us through the valleys and mountaintops we experience in life, and that our lives would be a testimony to God's goodness and faithfulness, an encouragement and a help to other Christians. In Psalm 119, 73 through 80, we read, Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let, I pray, your merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to your word to your servant. Let your tender mercies come to me, that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they treated me wrongfully with falsehood. But I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me, those who know your testimonies. Let my heart be blameless regarding your statutes, that I may not be ashamed. God's hand, God's hand has created us, has designed us, and God is involved with every aspect of our life. Our loving Creator offers us understanding, not that we would just know words, but know the meaning and know how to apply understanding and wisdom to our life. We should seek wisdom and understanding. We should ask God for wisdom and understanding and He will give it to us. Let us pray that God's instruction so guides our life that it would bring encouragement, help, and hope to those who fear God, to those who give Him reverence, to those who follow Him. Our holy and just God is always right in His judgments. And in His wisdom, in His sovereignty, in His holiness, sometimes He afflicts us. He allows affliction to come upon us. And only a high view of God's sovereignty and His perfect character can bring us comfort in these valleys, in that time of affliction. In faithfulness, God does not give up on us. Even when we fail Him, God does not give up on us and He uses whatever is necessary to make us holy, to make us into the image of His Son. His covenant promises to us to make us into the image of His Son, to make us holy, to bring us into heaven. It should bring us comfort. It should bring us hope. His Word has revealed His faithfulness, His love, and His forgiveness. And we need His tender mercies every day. We need His tender mercies to keep going, as the psalmist says, that I may live. Help me, Lord. You know I love your law. You know I love your word, that I delight in your ways. Encourage me. Direct me. Let the proud, the wicked, be ashamed, for you will judge them righteously. People may tear us down at times, lie about our character, but God will deal with with them. Our responsibility is to always trust God and to meditate upon His Word, to think about it fully, to have hope in Him, and He will bring His people together. He will allow us to be that example that is needed, that people will follow after us when they see us obeying God, that we are an example. We should not believe the lies of the enemy. We should support each other. We should love each other encourage each other. Your people, the ones that know your testimonies, Lord, they understand truth. Help me, Lord. Let my heart be blameless before you as we receive holiness, imputed holiness from the shed blood of Jesus Christ. We are declared holy because of Jesus, but let us also submit in practical holiness in obedience and cry out for God to help us, to empower us to follow His Word. That this worker, that this worker may be approved and not ashamed. Father, please mature me through Your Word. 
Please mature me through the valleys and mountaintops that I go through, through the opposition that I face, even through the victories. Let my life be a testimony of your goodness, your faithfulness, and empower me to obey you, to rest in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.